Howdy Cyberspace, Tobinator here. I am back in Pandaria in the technically Veil of Eternal Blossoms, right on the cusp of Kunlai Summit. And today I'm going to show you how to defeat the Thundering Pandaren Spirit with an Elec Plushie in your team to get that check mark for an awfully big adventure. I actually thought these spirits were going to be a lot tougher than they are, so as long as you're using the right team and you're paying attention, shouldn't give you too much of a problem. So in this fight, my first pet is a snail. It can be any snail, just important that you're using. First ability doesn't really matter, but I would go with Absorb for some healing. You're going to want to use Shell Shield, which I'll cast first, and Dive is the third ability. Snails are great in this fight because they're critters, so they can't be stunned. They have Dive, which does increased damage to Elemental, and critters in general take decreased damage from Elemental abilities, so they're really a great pick for this fight. You're basically going to want to keep Shell Shield up and spam... Um, absorbs in between dive cooldowns. Remember to cast Shell Shield again when there's one stack left on it because you don't have the speed advantage in this fight. Unless there's a snail out there that's fast, but I don't think there is. Generally speaking, they're slow. And remember, use dive on cooldown because it hits for uh, usually about 700 damage. Or less. So it's just going to take a couple more um, consumes. I'm going to go ahead and not cast Shell Shield here because this will kill him on this attempt. And for the next pet, Sludgy, uh, you're going to want to sub in the Elec Plushie to soak the Expunge, which will always be his first ability. And then you can go ahead and use Itchin for a Stitchin. Plushy will soak the um, uh, Creeping Ooze debuff as well, and that lets you bring your Snail in for some increased damage. So I'm once again going to throw up Shell Shield, and then I'll maximize my damage output by doing a Dive. Even though it does decrease damage, it's a good idea to use Dive. One, you will dodge yet another Expunge, and the 241 damage that it does is higher than what Consume's going to do anyways. And from here on in, just keep spamming. Um, I keep calling it Consume, but on this particular pet, it's Absorb. Same ability. Uh, you just want to get as many hits in with it as you can. And try and count every fourth round he'll use Expunge. And you don't want to have to soak that with anything but the Elec Plushie if you can, if you can avoid it. Uh, Mr. Pinchy, or the Magical Crawdad, is my next pet. And again, you're going to want to keep Shell Shield up. I'm using Claw and then Wish. Wish is, of course, fantastic against abilities such as uh, Expunge. So I'm actually going to cast it now because not this turn, but the turn after. He'll cast Expunge and this will heal me up pretty close to full. And now you can just go ahead and spam Claw. Uh, one more hit here, but since you have the debuff up, you're going to want to keep Shell Shield up, because that soaks the entire debuff. And as long as you kill him before the next time he casts Expunge, you're all good. Um, Darnak the Tunneler, first ability is always going to be Stone Shield, I think it's called. Stone Skin, sorry. And next ability, he'll burrow. You want to make sure Shell Shield is up for the burrow, or else it will kill you. Um, alternatively, you could have, instead of casting Wish, you could have subbed in the Elec Plushie to soak the burrow. But the bottom line is, eventually, you're going to have to take that burrow hit and heal up. Uh, the next ability he's going to do is, uh, I think it's called Stone Rush. So I'm going to soak that with the Elec Plushie because... He hits me and does damage to himself, and then takes one round off. So now I can use Itchin for a Stitchin, uh, sub Pinchy back in, and throw Shell Shield back up, and sort of rinse and repeat here. Um, he'll Stone Skin again, and now Burrow, I can throw up Wish again. 
and now it should be smooth sailing. Don't get me wrong, there's always still a little bit of risk, but I've got him down to 760. I'm at 1300. He's doing continual damage to himself. Um, and yeah, we should be okay here. Uh, I could once again sub out and take the um, hit here. Brings him down to 161. Now I can itch for a stitch. And may as well cast Wish again because now he burrows. And again, as long as you have Shell Shield up, um, you're fine to soak a burrow with about, as long as you have 600 health, I would say you're safe. And that was defeating the Thundering Pandaren Spirit with an Elec Plushie in your team. May as well turn in the quest for the Pandaren Spirit Pet Supplies, see if you get lucky, get one of the pets. Uh, not this time. Thanks very much for checking this out. Make sure you get your check mark on the Awfully Big Achievement. And please like, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. It helps me out a great deal. And if there's any other um, Pet Battle specific content you want me to cover, please just let me know in the comments. I always read them and try and reply whenever possible. See you on the next one, Cyberspace.